Hey, what's going on, guys? As you can see, I'm here at the DK that I just logged in. So, yeah, I'll be recording if I get any loot. And I'll be back at the end of the trip with a price check. Let's just hope I get a couple hatchets, you know. Kind of expensive, would be kind of nice. Still, let's go. And the first drop of the trip is luckily a dragon hatchet, which is the most expensive drop. So let's just hope we can get some more. It's only second dose of overload, so I'm happy. Let's just hope this luck continues. Mud battle staff, only 100k, but meh. Red drop nonetheless. LOL, dragon hatchet number two. Same drop, same place, same boss. This is nice. I'm enjoying this DK's trip, getting some nice drops. Let's just hope we can get a couple more. Nice, nice. Berserker ring. Good. Oh my god, what the hell. That is insanely lucky, as you can see. Just ran out of overloads and prayer renewals of just about the telly. Last kill. Another berserker ring. This is why I love, just love DKs. So what I'm going to do now is go to the bank and then price check all the loot that I got from that trip. So be right back. So here I am with the loot from that DK's trip, which was actually very fruitful, to say the least. Two rune hatchets and all this other noted crap don't know why they randomly started dropping ores I swear before the EOC they were, didn't drop anything except like coal sometimes and mithril maybe so it's 193k without the bones and hides and the drops with the bones and hides it's 1.2 mil now this is where it starts to go up uh, berserker ring 1 mil each um, I swear like a couple of weeks ago they were 1.5 so they're probably going down meh 3.4 mil and let's see how much dragon hatchets are. Dragon hatches are going down as well, the 3.71. Nonetheless, one and a half hours, I made 10.8 mil, almost 11 mil. Which is why I just recommend DKs. I would keep doing it over and over again. DKs is one of the best bosses to go to. Even if you're low level, you can go with a group or a couple of mates and can coin share. It's just amazing. So definitely go to DKs 24-7. Just live there basically. Peace. Hey what's going on guys, it's me Uzi and I'm here at QBD and I haven't been here since the start of the series, it's actually very good money making, it's very consistent so I'm probably going to be doing about an hour's worth which is two overload flasks and I'm probably going to record all the drops and then put it into a short montage so yeah be sure to look out for that. As you can see here, these are going to be a couple of clips with no live commentary of all the loot that I did manage to get. The first loot was 300 U-Logs. This is 5 dra Uncut Dragon Stones, which I believe is from the Red Drop table. Now, this was a very weird drop. One loop half and one Water Talisman, which I believe was also from the Red Drop table. And the next drop is 10 Toasters, which is actually quite worthless nowadays. I swear, Lance Times and Dwarf Feet are the most expensive. 120 Magic Logs. And what else is there coming next? 50 Adamant ore and 30 coal which is actually quite a good drop to be honest and finally the royal bolt piece which is a torsion spring hey what's going on guys i'm here at the bank and i'm going to price check all the loot that you got that i got sorry and you saw in the clips let's just see how much it adds up to at the end i did get lucky with the torsion spring but i swear like the royal bolt pieces i mean royal crossbow pieces are just worth nothing anymore 1.7 mil, that's pretty nice for only like an hour or so of DKs. But yeah, I'm going to put that in the bank. Thank you for watching episode 6 of the PVMing for Profit series. Be sure to comment, like and subscribe to my channel. Peace out. Yeah.